Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moomoo Outdoors. For today's video, I basically want to show off my Hobi polarized sunglasses right here. Of course not. Uh, so today, I want to show you guys my new favorite breed to litter knot, which is SC knot. I heard some hype about this new SC knot a few months ago, and uh, I had to try it. Once I tried the Essina, I never went back to Fshina. Fshina is commonly known as the strongest braid to leader, mono or floral, and it's very small in diameter. But the downside of the Fshina is it's not so easy to tie. I find that the Essina is just as strong as the Fshina and it's much easier to tie. Although a C knot is slightly thicker in diameter, a strand of a braided line thicker, it is still much thinner than Uni, Albright, Ucantan, and many other knots I have tried. And it runs through the guys very well. A C knot takes a little bit longer to tie compared to Uni to Uni, Albright, and uh, some of the easier knots, but it's still easy enough to tie it on the water. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into it. So what I got here is a PC phone Ali hose uh, with the 40 pound braided line. Uh, by the way, if you guys are interested in PC phone product, I have an 18% discount code down in the description. And I'm gonna be top shotting 30 pound mono. For my next trip, it's gonna be salmon fishing, so I want that extra stretch of mono rather than the floral so what you do is you make a loop with your braid line and uh, the length of the loop depends on the uh, diameter of your braid line and also your mono or your leader so for 40 pound braid line onto the 30 pound mono I grab about 4 inches like so and again about 4 to 5 inches of mono from the end of the 4 to 5 inches of mono I'm gonna grab both the mono and the braid line like so and basically what you do is you wrap the braid line onto the mono and you're gonna wrap it anywhere between 20 to 30 times so as you can see this is where I started I'm just gonna keep wrapping it just gonna keep wrapping it until the, the length of the wrap is longer than the, the loop end of the braid so once that's done I'm gonna feed the tag end of the mono into a braided loop like so and then bring the end of the loop to the point where you start wrapping like so and now you're gonna do your first cinch I'm gonna bite the tag end of the mono and cinch this down so I'm gonna hold the mono this way and I'm gonna hold the braid this way so the braid becomes 90 degrees with the wrap. So when you cinch down, this braided loop right here is also gonna spiral on top of the, uh, the wrap you just made. Okay, cinching it down. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, now that's done. You're gonna cinch it down one more time. This time, really hard, really, really hard. So the way I like to do it is I just wrap the mono back into the spool. And same thing here. I'm gonna reel in the braid all the way to the end, like so. And I'm gonna hold tension on both ends and I'm gonna pull really hard. Okay, now we are almost done. Now all you gotta do is so you gotta protect the loop band over here. So you're basically gonna use the tag end of the braid line and do four half clitch knot. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. And you are done. All you gotta do is to trim off the uh, mono end and trim off the braid end. Like so. And you are done. If you like, you can uh, apply some super glue at the end of it. I usually don't. There you go. That's the uh, SC knot. Much easier than FG knot. So the diameter is very small. Slightly bigger than uh, FG knot, but small enough to fit through the line guide of the reel. There you go. I know some people master the FG knot and uh, they can tie the FG knot blindfolded. But I know a lot of people struggle with the FG knot. So if you are one of them, try the SC knot. Um, it's actually much, much easier. I guarantee it. And it never broke on me. Always my knot, the hook broke before the SC knot. Never failed on me. So I highly recommend it. I suggest you guys try it uh, if you haven't yet. And uh, I think you're gonna like it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And go outside and enjoy the outdoors.